Donna Noble. Will she live or will she die? This, while seeming quite silly, is a genuine question. Because with Donna's return in the 60th, we're genuinely going to have to address some past things from the show. Because we kind of left Donna at the end of series 4 without her memories of the Doctor. And now she's going to have to do three adventures with the man. What gives? But I actually wanted to discuss what's going to happen to Donna at the end of the 60th. Will she end the 60th alive? Will she end it dead? Or will she just return to this state of lack of memories? Let's discuss. Now, honestly, the least likely scenario for me is that Donna will just end the 60th with a lack of memories. You see, we've kind of done that whole shebang at the end of series 4. And surprise, surprise, if you're going to write a character and then do more with her and then leave her in the exact same position we left her, that doesn't sound very interesting to me. Now, I know there'll be lots of arguments of it would change Series 4's ending too much and therefore, you know, you're messing with something good. But the thing is, you're messing with it anyway to bring the character back. Therefore, if you're going to bring the character back, you might as well do something new. And that means kill off Donna Noble. No, it doesn't let me do some thinking and some explaining, and then you get the conclusion. You don't get the conclusion like a minute and 20 seconds into a video. Who do you think you are? Next idea. Donna ends the 60th marrying a Sontaran. No, I'm not being serious. I just... Can we have some Sontarans in the 60th? I just really like Sontarans. We do, we, we do a running bit now on this channel where we just, um, we just talk about Sontarans for a bit. So subscribe! Actually, no, please do subscribe. We're on the journey to a thousand subscribers and it would mean a lot to me. Thank you very much. Cheers. Oh, that was a long take and a long sentence and it's still going. <sighs> the things I do for the YouTubes. So let's genuinely address the elephant in the room. What happens if at the end of the 60th, Donna dies. Well, first of all, I think that is the most short-term dramatic answer. Because yes, death as a concept is fantastic for shock value. No, I'm not saying that about like your grandma or something. You, you, your grandma died, shock value, woo! But in terms of like TV, yes, Donna's death would kind of be a bit shocking and dramatic and traumatizing. And I would cry quite a lot. I know, you thought big, masculine man. No. No, I would cry if Donna died. I also think this is the best way to do things if you're really looking for the I want to continue the arc of series four. Because it gives the Doctor as a character some great stakes. The Doctor in series four, knowing what they have to do to save Donna's life, takes away her memories. As we know from God, or your mother, or the Bible, actions have consequences. If the Doctor wants to undo the whole memory shebang, or some other event undoes the whole memory shebang, then the whole memory shebang kills her. And I've just repeated the word shebang three times. I love the word shebang, though. It's fantastic. Oh, God. It's a bit Christopher Eccleston of me, wasn't it? So yeah, I think death for Donna is the best answer and a likely answer if Russell T Davies is thinking about short-term dramatic stakes. Breaking news! We interrupt this video for a plot twist. No, of course Donna shouldn't die. What do you think I am, crazy? Like, yes, genuinely, my previous points do stand. Donna dying would be very, very dramatic. But honestly... Not at all satisfying. The thing is, we kind of done the big heart-wrenching, dramatic, let's do something bad to Donna thing. And honestly, bringing her back just to be more mean to her, Russell, it just kind of doesn't make sense. Like, we'd literally be going, this character, we created her, mean. We bring her back, mean. Like, why? dramatically, that's not satisfying. It might be dramatic, which you think would be good for dramatic ink, but no, it's not satisfying. And honestly, I'm really hoping Russell kind of has a fourth idea. Because I've kind of landed on this conclusion to the video where I'm like, 
Donna should live with her memories back, because just putting her back in the whole memory thing isn't satisfying, and killing her is not satisfying. But then again, I, I, I think, I think we either need one or two things. The first thing we need is for Russell to come up with a fourth idea, because he's the writer that's being paid to write this, and I am not, surprise, surprise. And the other thing is we have to like keep the emotion and like the heart in the story, but still just keep Donna alive. That as an option I think does work. You just have to work around the dramatic elements just to make sure it is genuinely satisfying. But what would you like to see happen? Would you like to see Donna die, lose her memories, live out her days as a farmer farming strawberries? Or blueberries? I prefer a strawberry though, so strawberries. Please subscribe if you've got any videos you want to see, comment them down below, do the like thing, do the comment thing, and there's a video here, there's a video here, so please watch it, so you can get away from this awful singing, awful singing, awful singing, awful singing, oh, click it, that song kind of had an anticlimactic ending, but I am not Andrew Lloyd Webber. I do not write musicals, so I don't know how to write a song.